Hey dreamers, it's your girl Dream and I'm back with another video. As you can see, we prepped my nails already. I did the pop-off method with matte top coat and cuticle oil. And I'm just showing y'all the acrylics that I'm using. They're all from Secret Nail Affair, of course. And I don't use something special, but I do use mixtapes. The gold flakes, I put it in my own acrylic container, but I did cut it up because it came really big from Amazon, but I just put it in that container and cut it up in little pieces. I've been using the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick Nail File, and it is a game changer. It's not bendy, and it just, like, I don't know, the grit on it is really different. It's, it hits so different. But yeah, I'm getting its application. And I'm using Rebellious and Nocturnal for the glitter on the pinky right now. to encap the design and I'm using transparency as my clear acrylic from Secret Nail Affair. It is the best clear acrylic. That is all I have to say. If you don't want to take my word for it, that is on you. As you can see, my beads are not too wet and they're not too dry and I just make sure that I'm wiping my brush off as well as wetting it in monomer again when I'm going in to pat the acrylic. So I don't want any air bubbles in my clear, like, at all. popping in to say acrylic application is so satisfying comment down below if you love acrylic application and if you don't and you need some help let me know and i can always film a video that is specifically based on acrylic application
I'm filing, but the first few steps, I'm kind of like mimicking what I was doing because I was out of frame the whole time that I was filing the other nails. So I just want to show you all that I'm doing underneath the nail, the side walls, and I'm holding the file as flat as I can because I am trying to create a boxy shape. That's the reason why I made the acrylic so thick. Um, I was really just achieving this boxy shape and I feel like I can only achieve it like well when I make my nails thick. But I'm also just filing on the top to make sure that it's flat. As you can see, it's flat. That sh She's flat, okay? And yeah, I'm just making sure there's no bumps. It's smooth. But I just wanted to let y'all know. my nail bit to seal the cuticles and then I'm also getting underneath the nail in case it's like too thick or uneven I'm filing underneath the nail and I'm also going to like flip my nail over and file underneath there because if there's acrylic under there it's not cute so you file that off as well I washed them off and then I wiped them down with alcohol wipes and I'm just prepping them for nail art making sure there's no dust or any oil on them and I have to say for the nail art this was when I was out the frame the most because I had to bring my nail close up to my face to just make sure I was doing what I needed to do I can't lie the lines are still pretty shaky but they look they look good you just can't see me doing them as much as I wish you could but yeah, I, and I do cut into, <laughs> I do cut in to like the finished set after finishing the heart because the top coat clip, I was out of frame too. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the video.
And this is the finished set. Honestly, it came out so good. I didn't even know what I was going to do in the beginning. And this is what we came up with. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be back next time with another video.